Hello everyone. In this video, we are starting exercise 13.1, and in this, we are solving the first question. The question says, following are the car parking charges near a railway station. We have to check if the parking charges are in direct proportion to the parking time. Means you have to check whether the cost is proportion. Means whether the cost is increasing proportion to the time. Now, first of all, let me explain what is direct proportion. This can be written as A is directly proportional to B. So this is the sign for directly proportion. And directly proportion is basically meaning if I take two values, these can be anything. And if I increase one value, the result will be the second value must also be increased. Or if I decrease this value, so this value will also decrease. For example, if I take these two values as if I take A as the number of any product, let's say pen, and the second is the cost of pens. I'm saying these are two things. First of all, the number of pens, and second thing is the cost of the, those pens. So if I'm saying I have 10 pens. And the cost is 100. Now, if I increase the number of pens, so clearly its cost must, must also increase. So these two are called direct proportions. And if I decrease the number of pens, so clearly its cost will also decrease. Means if you want to find the number of pens, uh, the if the number of pens are 20, so clearly the cost will be more than 100. And if you want to find the cost of five, if the number of five, uh, if the number of pens are five, so clearly the cost will be less than hundred. So there is another one important point that if I want to find the cost of twenty pens, so in proportion, in direct proportion, the number of times one parameter increases. The same number of time, the second parameter must also increase. So, if the number of pens becomes twice, so the cost of pen must also become twice. So, the cost of pen must be 200. So, we say that these values are in proportion, in direct proportion. And if you want to find the cost of five pen, so because this has become half so clearly the cost will also become half so the cost of 5 pen must be equals to 50 so till now we know that what is direct proportion and how this proportion is increased or decreased the number of times one parameter is increased the same number of times another parameter must also increase because this is direct proportion now we have to check whether this time and the cost is proportional or not. Obviously, first of all, we have to check whether this is in direct proportion or not. Obviously, if you are parking your vehicle for the more number of times, so clearly you have to pay more money for that. So obviously, the number of time or you can say the number of hours is directly proportional to time because as the number of proportion increases, the proportion uh, or you can say the cost will also increase. So clearly these are in, they, this is direct proportion. But there is another thing we know that whenever something is in direct proportion, the number of times one parameter increases the same number of times the another parameter must also increase but here the hours are becoming double but the money is not becoming double so we are clear that this is not a direct proportion so this is how you can find out whether any two things are in direct proportion or not
So this is how we can solve this question. In the next video, we will solve the rest of the questions. Thank you.